Yeah, look, Batley are always going to have their say, but you're right, 65, probably very dominant. I still thought we were in control, even though it was camped on our line. We defended with a, a really good attitude and energy and, and you know, turning up for each other, I suppose. It's, it's, that's where the teamship and mateship counts. I thought we had it in spades today. Um, got to commend Batley, I thought they were brilliant. Um, we, we had like a grind, we just set for set for long periods and... They were good and they did what Batley always do with the hang in there and they came up with a brilliant try. It must be brilliant to watch on TV and, and between them I thought we'd come a really good game to advertise the championship and um, they hopefully dragged a few more fans along to watch those games but you know had we lost it or even drawn it I thought at the end I thought it'd have been probably might, might sound a bit harsh to Batley fans but I thought it'd be a bit criminal I thought we'd absolutely dominated the game um, but you know, unfortunately they did score a great try, they made them score on the last blade of grass in the corner, which, which made a real difficult kick for Luke Cooley, who had an outstanding game and he'd probably go away a little bit a little bit sour on the kick, but you know, on the whole, you know, I thought we deserved winners, but it was a really good game. Did you watch the kick? The kick? Yeah, yeah I watched it in, it was silent, it had been quite noisy a bit before then, it went really quiet and obviously our fans are behind them post, so I was thinking it had gone straight through, but... Um, yeah, difficult kick, difficult circumstances, and unfortunately, when the right side of it writes for us. It's one of those days where you, sort of, you did what you needed to do to win. Yeah, I thought we were good. We probably didn't challenge them quite enough. We were happy just turning the ball over. I thought we needed to just, just push a little bit more. And I think there were more points in that for us because it took a lot of energy away from with our our control of the ball and the territory we had. So, yeah. It's a final, though, whether it's one point, ten points, thirty points, no one cares at the end of the day. The name on the trophy will be Halifax Panthers. Thank you. Is it nice in the trophy coming back at the end of the Yeah, it's been lean. It's been lean, hasn't it, since the last um, the wins and you know the last last time we had opportunity to come down here was eighties. A catch up Um Yeah, the uh, last opportunity they had to come here was eighty seven, wherever it was, and our fans still talk about it. And it doesn't annoy me. I don't want to say it with any disdain, but it's more. We've got a current crop that deserve a bit of attention as well, and, and hopefully they can get that, and, and they can hopefully be revered like the ones that I've looked up to forever, and we still see around the club: Will George, Mick Scott, Paul Dixon's in there, Tony Anderson. You know, so there's a load of blokes that we still see around, and and they are revered by our fans. And hopefully we've uh, we've dragged a few more because we don't always get that many at the shave. So hopefully a few of them can turn out, and we're next at home as well. They're quite noisy as well. Yeah, they were. It was good. Uh, really good atmosphere. We, we got we got here in good time and got to watch the. The men's Challenge Cup final caught a bit of the ladies on TV. So it's been a good day for rugby league, hasn't it? And, and to get Lee on the trophy as, as well, a new name on the trophy is great. Um, in another re very good game. So I think on the whole, everyone got the money's worth. This competition, how important is it to the likes of Halifax back then that you have this chance to, to come to Wembley and play for the um, Do you know what? It doesn't feel that important until you start going, hang on a minute, we, we could have a chance of doing this because. It's, it's a tough path you've got to go and play tough teams to get there it's not an easy thing to get to um, and people do go it's only 1895 not bothered but I'm pretty sure they'd like to be studying out to be quite honest and probably gives these lot a little bit of fire for what, what's the remainder of this season and, and our playoff hopes um, and moving forward af after that into, into getting here again at some point Did you afraid the man of the match that was a deserved choice man? I thought Louis did some great stuff um, he had my heart in my mouth at one point but that was one blip I thought in a game where I thought it was really good. Obviously, it took some nerves to knock them, them penalties over as well, which was smart. And you know, in recent weeks, Louis, he's, he's, we've had a few discussions, if you like, um, around some of his decision making, and he, he got put in some tough spots tonight in terms of the pressure they put him under. And he came up with the right decisions at the right times, which were brilliant. And um, he's been great for us in Keys' absence. Joe Keys, it's almost there. We're in the squad this week. Um, just got a little bit more work to do, but big absence for us throughout this season and that's been a contributor to our up and down form but I think certainly recent weeks with Bernal, Pickers, Gill and Dufre, along with our hookers uh, have really stood up and, and, and took that game plan on and done a really good job of it. What next up in top tour of uh, Halifax? What have you got for Oh, nothing too grand. Everyone's got work to do. They've all got to get back to site next week. Um, now, we'll, we'll travel home tonight um, which, not ideal but, you know, the expense of it all and all the rest of it. Um, we'll get home and enjoy a few few quiet beers on bus and then when we get back a few hours of recovery I'd imagine um, before we all meet up again tomorrow and spend out some time with our families because it's as much for them as it, as it is us.